My name is Nancy Vidler, and I'm the chair of the Lambton Shores Phragmites Community Group, a volunteer organization committed to the restoration of wetlands in our community. Invasive Phragmites is a rapidly spreading alien invasive grass that colonizes in tall, dense stands which degrade coastal areas and wetlands by crowding out native plants and animals. Phragmites infestations can block shoreline views, reduce access for fishing, swimming and hunting, and can create fire hazards from the buildup of dry plant material. It exudes toxins from its roots that are harmful to surrounding native vegetation. Phragmites has no natural predators, so human intervention is required to manage its control. Our organization was instrumental in having our local government commission and adopt an invasive Phragmites management plan, which we believe was the first in Ontario. My name is Bill McDonald, and I'm a director of the Lambton Shores Phragmites Community Group and we are here in a 59 hectare coastal metal marsh. It is unique in that it is the only coastal wetland along Lake Huron that is adjacent to a Carolinian forest. At one time, this marsh was home to a tremendous variety of wildlife and diverse native plants, but became overrun with invasive Phragmites, completely destroying its biodiversity. With the assistance of a National Wetlands Conservation Fund grant, we began remediation of this site in 2016. It is a three-year project and today we will be showcasing specially designed cutting and harvesting equipment being employed here to control Phragmites. The key piece of equipment is called a truck sore. It is a Swedish built amphibious vehicle that cuts and gathers Phragmites in an environmentally friendly way. The cut material is then gathered on barges and taken to a place on site where it is piled, dried and eventually burned. I'm Janice Gilbert and I'm a wetland ecologist and executive director of the Invasive Phragmites Control Center. This is a new entity that I established this year to help uh, guide people to deal with invasive Phragmites in an effective, efficient and environmentally responsible uh, manner. I've been working with the Lampton Shores Phragmites Community Group to restore this wetland we see in the, the background here the last five years and uh, we've been uh, trying to um, bring this wetland ecosystem back to uh, a highly diverse and uh, natural area for wildlife and plants. And it's been a challenge. We've been using all the tools that we've had at our disposal and creating new ones such as cutting to drown uh, with equipment, uh, but we still lack um, a key uh, tool which is a herbicide that we can use for safe application in wet, wet areas. It's been a real a pleasure working with the Lambton Shores Phragmites Community Group. They're uh, a dedicated uh, bunch of retired people that have taken this uh, wetland system uh, on. It's, it's, it was uh, a provincially significant uh, designation, globally rare ecosystem, and no one was looking after it. And so they've uh, taken upon themselves to raise funds and have been extremely active, thousands and thousands of volunteer hours working to, to restore this coastal wetland system. Thank you.